Hi, my name is Stefan Emig. I'm a drummer and percussionist from Hanover in Germany. I'm talking to you from the Meinl Percussion Recording Studios in Gutenstetten. Uh, this is the setup that we've been using over the last days to record some product videos for Meinl Percussion. And um, yeah, I would like to tell you a little bit about uh, what we did and um, why we approached the whole percussion stuff. Um, I'm a drummer. I was born 1976 and started playing drums when I was about 12 years old. And um, yeah, my main or my, my favorite band in this time was Iron Maiden. This was like the biggest band ever for me. And uh, so I had nothing to do really with percussion instruments. So um, then in the 80s, there was a TV show in German television called Super Drumming. And I think that was when I saw a percussionist playing congas for the first time. I think it was Nippi Noya, as far as I remember. And um, yeah, still I was into rock music, so I, I appreciated the art form, but was never really into playing percussion myself. Uh, then I studied in LA at the Los Angeles Music Academy and was introduced to percussion instruments for the first time. And that was really cool because, um, yeah, now you had the, the great world percussion players uh, teaching me um, yeah, all the patterns and instruments. And I got introduced to the whole world of percussions. And I think the, the major change concerning percussion for me was when I came back to Germany, I started playing with an African singer. And in this band, we always had percussion players. And this really inspired me. So I started buying the instruments and started fooling around on this instrument as well. Uh, it opened up my view on music. It changed my view on playing drum set. And um, yeah, so I highly recommend playing percussions. I think each, uh, every musician should have a shaker at least to play um, Yeah, to work on his rhythm and to understand the feel and, and the subdivisions. So the last days we focused on recording drummer add-ons. So these are percussion instruments that you as a drum set player can easily implement into the drum set. And it was, it's, it's just great to uh, widen your range of sounds and um, yeah, be more creative. And uh, it's really cool. I mean, if you listen to any, any kind of pop music or rock music and you listen, listen really closely to the, how it's produced, you will always find that there are some shakers in there, there's tambourines in there. So why not integrating them into the drum kit and playing them yourself? Uh, it's a lot of fun and it, uh, yeah, it just uh, adds little colors. Um, in Germany, you would say it adds the salt to the soup. I'm not really uh, sure what that means in English. But so um, you can really um, sound different and uh, make yourself more interesting and more valuable for the artists that you play with. So we had tambourines. Uh, this is, I guess, pretty obvious. Um, we had wood blocks, but there are so many add-ons that you can use. You can use cowbells. Um, and of course, playing shaker and tambourine as well. I think that's really cool. And um, when I started um, playing around with percussion instruments, uh, I never had the idea that I would actually become a percussion player. I always thought I would be the drum set player who knows about percussion. And uh, over the years, I started playing more and more of these hybrid gigs where I was kind of the percussionist and the drummer at the same time. Um, and suddenly I got called for playing percussions in bands. And so this is, I would say about 15 years ago, I started being an actual professional percussion player and mainly in pop music settings. And the, uh, the role of a percussion player in, the, in pop music is way different from like, let's say African music or Latin American music. Um, If you have a percussion player in, let's say, Afro-Cuban music, then the percussion player is the, is the motor of the band. That it's the main rhythmic instrument. Uh, but if you are the percussionist in a pop music setting, you are the color 
and you, know, you are the painter who adds color to the whole production. And the drum set player is the main source of rhythm. And uh, I, I really enjoy being in this role because as a percussionist in pop music, you can be, you can be a loop. <laughs> you can just uh, be playing a certain tambourine cowbell pattern for a long time. Uh, but you can also be using colors, using yeah, to make it, to make the whole um, whole music more. I don't know, interesting to have uh, more dynamics in the music and add different types of sounds that make just the music more exciting. Um, and it's a, it's really great to be like in a pop music setting to switch from being the loop and being really accurate and reliable as a player and on the other side being able to have chimes and bell trees and all these things to add these nice colors to music. So I enjoy it and I can highly recommend every drum set player should at least play with a percussionist or get an idea of the role of a percussionist. Because what I see sometimes is that drum set players um, who just start playing percussions Uh, don't understand the role of the percussionists. They still think as drum set players. And uh, so they, they can get in the way of the actual drum set player. I, I really would um, um, yeah, I want to recommend to understand the role of the percussionist so that you know where your place is in the music. And then you suddenly hear the music different. I had the chance to play with many great drum set players and this really helped me advance as a drum set player. So I recommend it again. And there's one thing that is really important to me. Uh, I know that I'm a German, Germany-based musician and I didn't grow up in a culture, cultural environment that has a lot of percussion instruments. But still, I, I want to recommend <laughs> that everybody is allowed to play percussion instruments. You don't have to be a Latino musician. You don't have to be an African musician to be to have fun with percussion instruments. It's great to be inspired by the by the cultures and by the authenticity and the roots of all, all of it. But you can use it as a source of inspiration for your own style of playing. And it's so much fun. I can't tell you. It's a lot of fun. Whenever I come here to the Minel factory and I see all the instruments that I made here, it's like Toys R Us for percussionists. It's great. All these sounds, they inspire me and they change my type of playing, my approach to the drum set. So I cannot recommend it enough. And uh, I want to encourage you to try it out and not say, well, yeah, I'm too old for this or I'm too German for this. Um, Do it and have fun with percussion instruments because I, I think it is great. Um, yeah, you'll see in the, in the videos that we did, uh, you will see how I use some of these instruments in the way that I play music and the way I play drum set. And there's a little tip I want to give you because um, some of these instruments have a traditional way of being implemented in the drum set. And um, for example, the mounted tambourine, I really like to use it hanging up, hanging upside down and playing it because then the jingles ring much more. It's like a natural, yeah, you kind of uh, add sustain to the jingles. And I think it's really cool, especially if you play like a hip hop-ish kind of loop. Um, it sounds like a, like a sampled tambourine much more than the short sound if you use it um, this way. Um, check it out. It's, it's in the video and I think it has a great effect. I use it when I'm a percussionist in a band setting. I also use it for ballads because sometimes the tambourine is too short if I play it like this. But if I hold it upside down and I hit it, then the jingles really ring and you have kind of a natural reverb to it. Uh, try it out. It's, it's a lot of fun. So be open, be creative and uh, use percussion instruments to widen your way of playing. All right, so I think this is it from me. Um, I want to thank you for listening and watching the videos, checking out Minel Percussions, uh, checking out the website. I think Minel does a great job um, supporting artists and uh, spreading the words, um, making music and um, 
yeah, having great instruments. The team is awesome. I want to thank Hannes, Quentin and Jim for taking care of me the last couple of days. I really enjoyed it. Um, and I hope you will enjoy the videos too. And I hope to see you again soon. If you want to know a little more about me, check out the profile on minelpercussion.com or visit me on my website. That's where you'll find all the information about me, the bands that I play in. Um, I wrote a book about musicality. Maybe that's interesting for you as well. All right, have a great day and bye-bye from Gutenstetten. <laughs>